The Collector of Hogwarts. Chapter 31. The original work does not mention the maker of the disappearing cabinet, but two people are mentioned in particular in relation to the disappearing cabinet. One is Draco Malfoy, who later restored the vanishing cabinet, and the other is the famous Voldemort. Draco's strength cannot afford the reputation of a legend, so the quality evaluation of the vanishing cabinet must have nothing to do with him. Although Voldemort is a complete evil man, he is enough to be called a legend simply by being called the Dark Lord. Voldemort discovered the vanishing cabinet in the Room of Requirement when he was a student, and found an identical vanishing cabinet in Borgen Box shop, and he discovered the secret of the vanishing cabinet with his extraordinary wisdom. In order to prevent others from discovering it, he destroyed the disappearing cabinet in Bojenbach's shop and threatened Bojan not to sell it to him. It could not be repaired without his order. It was precisely because of these two vanishing cabinets that Draco was able to help the Death Eaters enter Hogwarts, which ultimately led to the death of Dumbledore. It is no exaggeration to say that the vanishing cabinet in the Room of Requirement can be regarded as an important tool in killing Dumbledore. With two legends involved, it's no surprise that it's rated as legendary quality in its own right. Lee Kai opened the attribute panel and took a look at the newly acquired talent. Space will. When using space magic, the duration and power are greatly increased, the consumption is greatly reduced, and the control ability is greatly enhanced. After reading the talent description, Lee Kai was pleasantly surprised. Although there is no clear division of magic departments in the wizarding world, Judging from the nature of certain magics, it can still be classified into departments. Space magic includes apparition, portkey, traceless stretch spell, vanishing spell, etc. Among them, Li Kai has mastered apparition, traceless stretch spell and vanishing spell. These three spells can be blessed by the will of space and become more powerful. Li Kai was not in a hurry to experiment with the power of the spell, but continued to search for treasures in the garbage. Soon. He found another treasure. This is a book, a picture album that looks very simple. The album cover is embossed with a picture of the Passion of Jesus, and the frame is made of gold. Page after page in the album is full of all kinds of evil-looking monsters. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the epic collection, Sacred Seal of the Church, which rewards, Grand Master Sealing Spell, Talent, Brightwill, and, Ancient Roman Gold Coin, X10. Brightwill. When using light magic, the duration and power are greatly increased, the consumption is greatly reduced, and the control ability is greatly enhanced. Li Kai was pleasantly surprised. He didn't expect to be able to obtain two powerful magic talents in one day. This will of light is no weaker than the will of space obtained previously, but it seems that there are not many light spells in the wizarding world. Among the magic spells Li Kai masters, only the illuminating charm and the guardian charm are considered light spells. The light of ordinary lighting spells is soft and does not hurt the eyes. I don't know if the lighting spells can blind the eyes with the blessing of the will of light. Li Kai tried casting a lighting spell and found that the brightness was indeed several times stronger than before. Casting it with all his strength should be enough to blind the eyes. Sealing spell. Use an object as a carrier to seal the target. The duration of the seal is related to the magic power of the caster and the resistance of the sealed target. If the target has no resistance, it can be permanently sealed. This sealing spell made Li Kai's eyes light up. He was worried about the difficulty in handling the collection and planned to build a collection room. Now that there is a sealing spell, it seems that there is no need to be so troublesome. Li Kai only needs to find a suitable carrier and seal all the collections. Wouldn't this be safe and convenient? Just like the, holy seal of the church, in your hand, it looks like an ancient picture album full of history, but in fact it is an extraordinary item that has sealed many demons. If it weren't for the system prompts, even Li Kai wouldn't be able to see through its nature. Perhaps it was for this reason that its former owner would treat it like garbage and throw it into this treasure room. But what should we use as a carrier? Li Kai glanced at the picture album in his hand, but silently denied this goal. The church is also an extremely powerful force. It once even launched a witch-hunting campaign, forcing wizards to hide in Tibet, which directly gave birth to the Wizarding Secrecy Act. The church, which is so cruel to wizards, can only seal the monsters in the album but cannot completely eliminate them, which shows how evil these monsters are. Two seals cannot be applied to one carrier. 
To use the picture album in front of you as a seal carrier, these monsters must be released. Although Li Kai is very confident, he is not blindly arrogant. He does not intend to release the monsters in the album until his strength exceeds that of Dumbledore. Therefore, this, sacred seal of the church, cannot be used for the time being. Li Kai thought for a while and took out an exquisite blank parchment book from the storage bag. This blank parchment was a return gift from Mrs. Worley last time, and it seemed that it could be used as a seal carrier. Voldemort can use an ordinary diary to create a horcrux that is difficult to destroy. Li Kai also has the confidence to use an ordinary parchment book to create an indestructible sealed book. Ancient Roman gold coins, souvenirs that the church is recycling at a high price and can be exchanged for gold galleons and friendship with the church. What good is church friendship? Li Kai was not very interested in the church, but he thought about it carefully. Hogwarts had so many high-end collections, but what about the extremely wealthy church? Perhaps we can use these ancient Roman gold coins to exchange for some good collectibles. Li Kai played with the ancient Roman gold coins and thought silently in his mind. Then he continued his treasure hunt. There may be many unknown treasures hidden in the garbage, but there is not much time to find them now. Therefore, Li Kai's main goal is only the crown of Ravenclaw. This crown, which is said to increase the wisdom of the wearer, is not only the treasure of Ravenclaw, one of the founders of Hogwarts, but also a horcrux made by Voldemort himself. Blessed by the double halo, its quality will definitely not be lower than the legendary. Here comes the crown. Li Kai tried to use the flying spell, but it had no effect. He actually knew that it was of no use, but people always take chances. How could he be willing to do it without trying it himself? Since the flying spell is useless, we can only rely on physical strength to find it slowly. Chirp. Suddenly, a group of Cornish elves flew out of the garbage. They flew to Li Kai and tried to catch him and hang him on the chandelier on the roof. Tisk, tisk, you've thrown yourself into a trap, so you can become my first collection of living magical animals. Li Kai waved his wand, immobilized them all. So a large group of Cornish elves were all fixed in the sky. Then, Li Kai took out the blank parchment, waved his wand, and read a long ancient spell. The Grandmaster level ceiling spell rewarded by the system belongs to ancient magic, and it is also a church spell. It is very different from the magic spread in the wizarding world today. Modern magic spells are concise and have concentrated functions, which have obvious advantages over ancient magic. But some ancient magic has functions that modern magic cannot replace. For example, how to make horcruxes, Voldemort's spell to reshape his body, Ms. Lily Evans's protection of love, and some other unknown ancient spells. The sealing spell mastered by Li Kai is also one of them. As the spell was completed, a lavender mist of light suddenly emerged from the tip of his wand. The mist of light enveloped the imprisoned Cornish elves, and then slowly dragged them to the blank parchment, removing them from the three-dimensional creatures. Compressed into a two-dimensional creature. At this point, the seal is completely completed. From the outside, the page of parchment that sealed the Cornish elf was no different from an ordinary oil painting. Even Li Kai, who made it, could not feel any magic fluctuations. Li Kai smiled with satisfaction and was about to continue looking for the crown of Ravenclaw when he caught a glimpse of a flash of blue light in the corner where the Cornish elf had just flown out. He turned to look, his eyes suddenly filled with surprise. It turns out that what emits blue light is a dark blue gemstone, which is set in a platinum crown like an eagle spreading its wings. This crown inlaid with dark blue gems is the Ravenclaw crown that Li Kai is looking for. Ravenclaw's golden crown. Crown of wisdom. Voldemort's horcrux. Finally got it. Cleaned and brand new. Li Kai took the Ravenclaw crown in his hand, used a cleaning spell to remove the dust on it, and then quietly admired this rare treasure. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the legendary collection, Ravenclaw's Golden Crown, which rewards, Talent Dark Will, Talent Wind Will, and, Grand Master Wisdom Spell. Dark Will, when using dark magic, the duration and power are greatly increased, the consumption is greatly reduced, and the control ability is greatly enhanced. Will of Wind, when using air magic, the duration and power are greatly increased, the consumption is greatly reduced, and the control ability is greatly enhanced. Wisdom Spell. Learning ability is greatly improved within a short period of time after use. 
As expected of a legendary collection, it actually rewards two talents at once. Li Kai secretly guessed that the reason why the Dark Will was rewarded should be related to Voldemort's soul fragment, and the Will of Wind should be related to Ravenclaw himself. The four major houses of Hogwarts respectively represent the four elements of Earth, Water, Fire and Wind. Hufflepuff represents Earth, Slytherin represents Water, Gryffindor represents Fire, and Ravenclaw represents Wind. Needless to say, dark magic, magic that requires negative emotional support such as the Death Curse and the Cruciatus Curse are among them. With the Dark Will, Li Kai would be uniquely gifted if he wanted to be the Dark Lord. I'm afraid even Voldemort would have to abdicate in favor of someone else. There are many air magics recorded in Hogwarts textbooks, such as misty clouds, inflatable spells, flying sand smuggling, whirlwind spells, hurricane spells, etc., which are all air magic, and these magics will be strengthened by the will of the wind. Li Kai opened the attribute panel and took a look. Now he has obtained the four talents of space will, light will, dark will and wind will. In the future, when using these four series of magic, he will have an advantage over others. Tisk, tisk, with a strong will talent, coupled with superb magic growth, sooner or later I will be able to press Lao Deng to the ground and rub him. Just when Li Kai was secretly proud, an evil mental wave suddenly came from the Ravenclaw crown in his hand. There seemed to be a voice whispering in his ear, but it was firmly blocked by Occlumency. He ignored the voice and decisively opened the Book of Seals, sealing the crown of Ravenclaw onto a piece of parchment. Voldemort, just stay well and wait until the time is right before I deal with you. After winning the crown of Ravenclaw, Li Kai planned to leave the room of requirement because it was almost 9 o'clock in the evening. If he doesn't show up again, I'm afraid many people will search for him throughout the castle. As soon as he walked out of the room of requirement, Li Kai saw an old man walking from the other end of the corridor. This old man is none other than the most powerful white devil in the world today, Albus Dumbledore. Mr. Kalthos Lee, I must have remembered your name correctly, right? Dumbledore walked over with a smile, it seems that you have just come out of the room of requirement. You have only been at school for a few days and you were able to find the room of requirement. It seems that you know Hogwarts better than many young wizards. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Li Kai smiled and said, I did a lot of homework before enrolling, and I know what kind of school Hogwarts is. I happen to be friends with Mrs. Worley, and she told me a lot about it. Something about Hogwarts. It's true, Mrs. Worley also studied at Hogwarts, but she was still a little transparent in Slytherin College at that time. Many outstanding people were ordinary when they were young. They also experienced a series of unexpected encounters before they achieved the dazzling achievements they later achieved. When a woman changes her age, Mrs. Worley is one of those who becomes more and more beautiful. When she was a guest last time, she talked a lot about what happened at Hogwarts, so it was totally fine for Lee Kai to use her as a shield. So it's lovely. Dumbledore couldn't help but fall into memories, she used to be a quiet child, not like a Slytherin, but more like a Ravenclaw. I heard that she went to the United States after graduation. Can you tell me how you met? Of course, it doesn't matter if you don't want to say it, I'm just curious. That day I accidentally entered Nocturne Alley and wandered around. When I was about to leave, I saw Cassandra surrounded by several dark wizards. There was no one else around, so I had to help her alone. Then Mrs. Worley came. Li Kai smiled, slightly modified what happened in Nocturne Alley, and then said it briefly. Those things cannot withstand investigation, so Li Kai has never had any intention to hide it. Everyone who asks will always tell the same story, and there is also an unknown source of Jin Galleons. However, making money must be put on the agenda as soon as possible, because it is definitely impossible to be a big collector without money. With enough financial support, you can hire people to collect treasures all over the world. What a brave boy, you have the qualities of a Gryffindor. Dumbledore felt a little regretful, but he quickly changed the subject, but Slytherin is not bad, ah, can you tell me what you were doing in the room of requirement? Professor. Li Kai said helplessly, can't you just let me keep some little secrets? Isn't the purpose of the room of requirement to keep secrets? Okay, then I won't ask. Dumbledore shrugged, speaking of which, the existence of the room of requirement has indeed brought convenience to many people. 
One time I went out to the toilet at night and accidentally walked into the room of requirement. House, there were many toilets made of pure gold in the house at that time, tisk tisk, can you imagine that scene? Professor Dumbledore, I think you must have used the principal's privileges, right? Lee Kai smiled and exposed Dumbledore, I found a rule for entering the room of requirement. You have to walk back and forth here three times before the door will open. If you are in a hurry to use the toilet, probably won't do that. He was not worried at all that Dumbledore would be angry. Appropriate jokes would help bring people closer together. Dumbledore is not the abbot of Shaolin. He is a generous man, and he will definitely not wear small shoes for his students just because of such a trivial matter. Aha! What a smart little devil! Dumbledore looked at Lee Kai with admiration, okay, it's getting late, you should go back to bed. Good night, Kyle. Oh, there is one last thing to remind you. You, please don't use curses on your classmates casually in the future, especially in front of the public. When he said this, he winked at Lee Kai, and there seemed to be a hidden meaning in his words. Lee Kai soon realized that Dumbledore was also dissatisfied with some of Slytherin's bad habits, so he didn't mind someone rectifying Slytherin's unhealthy habits, but it was obviously a matter of scale. Therefore, Dumbledore only reminded Lee Kai and did not impose any punishment. Okay, Professor Dumbledore, I remember. Lee Kai nodded, good night, Professor. Dumbledore watched him leave, and then suddenly said calmly, Severus, how long are you going to overhear? Professor Snape came out of the corner and said coldly, Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I just wanted to know how you plan to treat this child. What do you think I'm going to do with him, Severus? Dumbledore looked at Professor Snape in surprise, wondering if he was pretending to be confused. This child is smart, studious, scheming, and very talented in magic. Professor Snape said sarcastically, Aren't you worried that he will become another Dark Lord? The Dark Lord? Dumbledore asked, why can't he become the White Lord? Huh. Snape felt ridiculous. The White Devil from Slytherin. Dumbledore said calmly, I asked someone to ask about the situation. This child's living environment was very good when he was young. Although he lost his parents, his character has not been distorted. He is fundamentally different from Voldemort. The only thing I am worried about is, what kind of ambition does he have? A young wizard who is good in all aspects has entered Slytherin, which means that his ambition has obscured the light of courage and wisdom. People can change, how can you be sure that he will not become the Dark Lord? Snape said coldly. I'm not sure, Dumbledore said helplessly, then what do you want me to do? Send him to Azkaban now. Or kill him directly. With all due respect, I can't do such a crazy thing. What you do is up to you, Snape said sarcastically, I'm just asking. Anyway, I don't mind watching a good show. Okay, Severus, it's time for you to get down to business. Dumbledore asked, tell me, why did you come to me? Snape gritted his teeth and said, Harry Potter. This child is lazy, arrogant, and stupid. He is not like Lily's child at all. I have been observing him these past few days, and he has made a mess in almost all his courses, and he is not serious enough. He never knows how to prepare lessons. If he was half as good as Kael'thas, maybe it would be ten times easier for us. Severus, he has just entered school, give him some time to adapt. Dumbledore said helplessly, we have no choice. Apart from him, who else can we count on? Snape was silent for a moment and said mockingly, okay, then I will act with you in a play. I hope the actor you choose will not disappoint. We'll see, Dumbledore said with a smile, we always have to give the savior time to grow. When Lee Kai returned to the common room, there were still many Slytherins chatting and spanking. The moment they saw Lee Kai, it was as if a silent spell had been cast on them, and they all became mute. Cassandra was obviously relieved when she saw Lee Kai. She said in a unique and stimulating tone, I haven't seen you since the last class. I thought you were expelled. They are already planning to celebrate. After she finished speaking, she closed the book in her hand and walked towards the girls' dormitory. Lee Kai was not displeased at all, and even had a smile on his lips. He could tell that Cassandra was caring about him. Draco waited until Cassandra walked away, then whispered, Kael'thas, what is your relationship with my cousin? You and I share a dormitory. She has been asking me about your whereabouts before, thinking that I know you. Where have you gone? 
What this kid said must be a bit exaggerated. With Cassandra's character, it's good to ask once, so why would she keep asking? Lee Kai saw through Draco's little thoughts at a glance, and he said calmly, don't ask if you shouldn't ask. If you want to gossip, you might as well read more textbooks. Slytherin's glory is based on strength. Facts have proved that, the noble bloodline you admire is not reliable, is it? Draco's face was a little ugly, obviously he didn't expect Lee Kai to suddenly talk about this. In fact, Li Kai only mentioned a few words because he was not bad at heart. If he was as hopeless as those two idiots Crab and Goyle, Li Kai would not say a word. After returning to the dormitory, washing and lying on the bed, Li Kai soon had a sweet dream. At about 10 o'clock, Draco was woken up again by the snoring of Crab and Goyle. He looked at Li Kai strangely and found that Li Kai had no reaction. This is a bit abnormal. At this time a few days ago, Li Kai would wave his wand and cast a silent spell on those two idiots, but today he turned a deaf ear to the abominable snoring. In fact, Li Kai had already cast a small-scale enchantment spell on himself before going to bed. He felt that it was a bit passive to wait until he was woken up before casting spells on those two idiots a few days ago, so he decided to find another way to put himself to sleep. Using a barrier spell can not only block sounds from the outside world, but also protect against sneak attacks by people with evil intentions. Using this spell can definitely kill two birds with one stone. The shielding effect of the enchantment spell can be determined by the caster. When necessary, everything in a certain area can be hidden. You can also choose to block only sound, light, shadow, and smell. The spell of the barrier curse is a total protection. In the original book, Hermione used this spell to avoid the pursuit of Death Eaters. Now Li Kai doesn't need to completely hide himself, he just needs protective effects and sound insulation effects so Draco can see him. Why hasn't he been woken up yet? Draco grunted, and when Li Kai didn't respond, he took out his wand and tried to cast a silent spell on Crab and Goyle. The first period on Thursday morning was Professor McGonagall's transfiguration class again. Seamus Finnegan from the Gryffindor side blew up the prop wooden cup that Professor McGonagall had given him. Broken wood and slag exploded everywhere. Li Kai reacted extremely quickly and immediately cast an iron armor spell on himself and blocked Cassandra behind him. Hermione's reaction was also very quick. She immediately crouched down and hid under the table. Both Harry and Ronald had their robes covering their heads, and their bodies were covered in splinters of wood. Seamus himself and Neville were the most severely affected by the explosion, with blood dripping from the wooden thorns on their faces. Fortunately, this kind of damage was not caused directly by the curse, otherwise it would have left scars that cannot be removed. Professor McGonagall was furious and could only send Seamus and Neville to the medical room. There is only one charms class in the afternoon. In the charms class, Professor Flitwick taught the new students two simple spells. One is a descaling charm and the other is a lighting charm. When Li Kai released the lighting spell, there seemed to be an extra sun in the classroom, and everyone had to close their eyes. Even so, everyone was in tears. Oh oh oh. Kalthos, please stop your spell. Professor Flitwick exclaimed. I have never seen such a bright lighting spell. How did you do it? Can you teach me? If this spell is used in a duel, the effect will be amazing. As a former champion of a duel competition, Professor Flitwick was very sensitive to the combat effects of magic spells, and he immediately realized the tactical value of the lighting spell. Sorry, Professor. Li Kai spread his hands and said, you should hear clearly that my spell is no different from everyone else's. Professor Flitwick said helplessly, well, this may be talent, an enviable talent. After finishing the charms class, Li Kai used transformation to turn some branches into fishing gear, then dug up some earthworms and ran to the Black Lake to fish. There is no fish on the Hogwarts diet, but Li Kai likes fish very much, so he had to make the tooth ceremony himself. Cassandra was very interested in the sport of fishing and followed her enthusiastically. The wizards hardly fished, and their entertainment was so scarce. There is a grassland on the shore of Black Lake. Many students like to come here during their spare time to enjoy a quiet afternoon while enjoying the cool breeze. Probably the fish in the Black Lake have never encountered a fisherman. Not long after Li Kai dropped the hook, the float was pulled underwater. 
He raised the fishing rod and felt that the struggle coming from the water was not strong. He immediately increased his strength and a fish was immediately pulled out of the water. Cassandra screamed excitedly and said in surprise, Is this the muggle method of fishing? Li Kai nodded, then shook his head. This was a fishing method from the past. It is outdated. Now it can only be regarded as a pastime. Can I try? Cassandra looked at Li Kai expectantly. You help me, and I can help you. She blushed a little. For a person with a proud heart, sometimes asking others for help requires more courage than committing suicide. Li Kai smiled, directly handed over the fishing rod in his hand, and then picked up a branch nearby and turned it into fishing gear. Cassandra was not squeamish, so she grabbed an earthworm, tore it into two pieces and hung them on the fish hook. Li Kai hung her remaining earthworms on the hook, cast the rod again, and began to wait patiently. Ah! Cassandra suddenly exclaimed. Li Kai heard the sound and went to see that the fishing rod in her hand had been bent. This was definitely a big fish. Need help. Li Kai was worried that Cassandra was too weak to fight the big fish in the water. No need to help me, I can do it. Cassandra's little face flushed with excitement, obviously having experienced the fun of fishing. Suddenly, a rough voice sounded from behind the two of them, what are you doing? Cassandra was competing with the fish in the water and had no time to care about anything else. Li Kai looked behind him and saw a tall figure standing not far away, it was Hagrid, the gamekeeper. We are fishing, Li Kai asked with a smile, Hagrid, do you want to try it? Oh. Of course I know you are fishing, Hagrid said seriously, but you are too young. Fishing by the Black Lake is very dangerous. There is a giant squid in the Black Lake, and it will pull you down. Li Kai shrugged. Then can you stay and protect us? How about we treat you to grilled fish? Hagrid immediately smiled when he heard this. He didn't care whether he ate grilled fish or not, but he liked it when others asked him for help, because it was recognition of him. This mixed-race giant who looks rough but has a kind heart has been ostracized since he was a child. He is eager to be recognized by others. Okay, I will protect you and never let the giant squid hurt you. At this time, Cassandra had slipped over, ah, no, she had slipped over the fish in the water. In fact, it was not that she was highly skilled, but that she did not have enough strength to pull the fish up. The two sides continued to wrestle, and Li Kai's fishing rod became tougher and stronger, which led to Cassandra accidentally hitting it and knocking the big fish over in the water. Ha ha. I succeeded. Cassandra's pretty face turned red, and her delicate face was covered with a smile. This was the first time Li Kai saw her smiling so happily. At about 5 o'clock, Li Kai and Cassandra had caught more than a dozen big fish. When finishing the pole, Cassandra was almost pulled into the water by a big fish. Fortunately, Li Kai was relatively close at the time and hugged her. Hagrid, the full-time bodyguard, was looking silly and had no intention of helping at all. There were also several ladies from Ravenclaw nearby watching the fun. Cassandra's pretty face turned red, and she managed to pretend to be very calm and said, Didn't you say we want to grill fish? Can we start? Of course, Li Kai looked at Hagrid, Hagrid, it seems you were right. Our age is really not suitable for fishing in the Black Lake. There are many big fish in the Black Lake, some of which even Li Kai cannot pull up. Fortunately, he improvised a powerful spell to make himself extremely powerful, and he was able to pull up those big fish. Hagrid was building a stove nearby. He said with a smile, there are many magical animals in the Black Lake. The giant squid will not hurt you. If you come again in the future, be sure to pay attention to those grindalos. Although this dark creature is not big, but they are very dangerous. Li Kai's heart moved and he silently kept these words in his heart. The previously sealed Cornish elf was evaluated by the system as an excellent collectible, and the reward was only the Cornish elf affinity. To be honest, this reward made Li Kai very disappointed. He was a little worried that collecting magical animals would only give similar rewards. In order to test this conjecture, he must collect more magical animals. It seems that Grindelo is a good target. Li Kai was calculating in his mind while handling the fish with quick hands and feet. It only took him 10 minutes to clean up the caught fish. On the other side, Hagrid and Cassandra also set up a bonfire. Kyle, everything is ready here, what should we do next? Hagrid asked. Put these smaller ones on iron skewers and put them on the campfire. 
Li Kai used magic to turn some branches into iron skewers, and handed them all to Hagrid along with the processed fish pieces. Then he took out various seasonings, wax and large basins, and marinated the remaining fish with seasonings. Although we caught a lot of fish today, Hagrid is a giant and his appetite is definitely not comparable to that of ordinary people. So Li Kai planned to make braised fish nuggets and spicy fish. He had not eaten these two dishes for a long time. After the preliminary work was completed, he went to the campfire and sprinkled various seasonings such as salt and chili powder on the grilled fish. It didn't take long for the alluring scent to spread in all directions. The little wizards nearby began to swallow their saliva when they smelled the smell, and couldn't help but look at Li Kai and the others eagerly. After a while, some smaller fish were cooked. The three began to enjoy the food. Hagrid took a bite and couldn't help but admired. Kyle, your craftsmanship is really good, much better than those house elves. Cassandra had also been conquered by the delicious food, her pretty face was stained with oil, and when Li Kai saw this scene, he felt the urge to take a lick. Soon, the grilled fish was all cooked. Li Kai took all the grilled fish off the shelf, set up the wok, and began to show off his superb cooking skills. After about 10 minutes, the braised fish cubes and spicy fish were also ready, and the aroma that filled the area became even stronger. Two Ravenclaw girls were very close to each other. One of them seemed to be Asian. She had an oval face, black hair and black eyes, and she always had a sweet smile on her face. Whenever Li Kai looked over, she would lower her head shyly. But Li Kai was a little embarrassed after being peeked at several times. He couldn't help but said, would you like to come and taste it together? The Asian girl seemed hesitant. It would be rude to interrupt other people's meals, but she really wanted to taste the delicious food. Just when she was about to refuse, the companion beside her said first, thank you, Marietta Amok, she is Chu Zhang. Li Kai was a little surprised. He didn't expect that the Asian girl was Chu Zhang in the original book. She looked much more beautiful than in the movie, so he didn't recognize her at all. Kalthos Lee, Li Kai pointed at Cassandra, Cassandra Worley. Imic couldn't help but exclaimed, Are you Kalthos Lee? I heard that you severely punished Marcus Flint in the Slytherin common room. Is this true? Quote. Li Kai handed over a piece of grilled fish and said casually, That's nothing, don't be so surprised. No. Imic shook his head and said, You have done a great thing. Flint is a complete villain. Everyone hates him, but no one can do anything about him. He does not follow the rules, especially it was during the Quidditch game that he really did everything he could and a lot of people got hurt because of him. The girl's nagging made Li Kai a little impatient. It would really make him feel happy when others talked about these things at first, but after hearing them too much, he would feel annoyed. After all, it was indeed a trivial matter to him. Should we be more low-key in the future? No, being too low-key in Western society will only cause more trouble. He thought to himself, it seems that in the future we should be more low-key. When they get used to it, they won't talk about it. So, who is more suitable to attack? How about challenging Lao Deng directly? Quote. Li Kai quickly gave up the unrealistic idea. Are you kidding, challenging Lao Deng? Isn't that lighting a lantern in the toilet, seeking death? The world's number one white devil is no joke. A group of people gathered around the campfire, chatting and eating fish, and soon wiped out all the delicacies cooked by Li Kai. It was past six o'clock, and Li Kai was going to the room of requirement to continue his treasure hunt. Hagrid is going to inspect the Forbidden Forest, and Chu Zhang and Imic are going to the library to read. Everyone parted one after another, and in the end only Li Kai and Cassandra were left. The lounge is not in that direction, where are you going? Cassandra looked at Li Kai strangely. I'm going to a very private place, are you going to come with me? It's not a secret to hunt for treasure in the room of requirement. Having an extra person to help might help you find it faster, so Li Kai doesn't intend to hide it from Cassandra. The two soon arrived at the eighth floor of the castle. Li Kai summoned the room of requirement according to the secret while explaining to Cassandra. The room of requirement is magical. If you can't find me in the castle, you can try coming here. Cassandra rolled her eyes at Li Kai, who is looking for you. I'm just supervising you and not letting you do bad things. Slytherin has won six consecutive Academy Cups, and I don't want to cause pain because of some people's misbehavior. 
lost the Academy Cup. If it's just for the Academy Cup, then I don't think you should stare at me. Li Kai said lazily, if I remember correctly, I have earned a lot of points for Slytherin during this period, and those points are enough to offset right. Besides, as long as I don't get caught by the professor, even if I blow up Hogwarts, they won't be able to deduct points from me. Cassandra's beautiful eyes widened, obviously not expecting Li Kai to say such treacherous words. Suddenly, Snape's voice came from the front. Mr. Li, how do you plan to blow up Hogwarts? Can I participate in this great plan? With all due respect, I'm afraid you can't do this with your current abilities. A qualified Slytherin must know how to keep secrets before succeeding, I hope you can understand this truth. Good afternoon, Professor. Li Kai smiled and said, if I am willing to tell something and share it with others, it means that I do not intend to keep it as a secret. What I just said was just a joke, Professor, you don't have to be like this, serious. Snape stared at Li Kai for a few times and said calmly, you should be glad that it was just a joke, otherwise Azkaban will serve you for the rest of your life. After he finished speaking, he hurried away along the corridor like a giant bat. Cassandra looked at Li Kai and said in surprise, you don't seem to be afraid of him at all. Why should I be afraid of him? Li Kai shrugged, I didn't do anything wrong, why should I be afraid of him? There are very few students in Hogwarts who are not afraid of him, and even in our Slytherin Academy, no one dares to be presumptuous in front of him. Cassandra said sarcastically, many people see him, just like a mouse sees a cat. Quote. Li Kai nodded, that's true. His style is indeed very scary, but that cold style may just be his protective color. Maybe he is a very kind person at heart. He's gone, you didn't say such outrageous things. Cassandra curled her lips, obviously not agreeing with Li Kai's evaluation of Snape. The door to the room of requirement appeared, and the two of them pushed it open and entered. Cassandra, who entered the treasure room for the first time, was obviously full of curiosity. She asked indifferently, are you planning to hunt for treasures here? What treasures can be found here? Yes, if you are willing to help me, we can start now. Li Kai replied, and started looking for the last location. He used the floating spell to move items from here to there, not letting go of any suspicious items. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the excellent collection, Chocolate Frog Pictures, Australian Opal Eye Dragon, and the reward is, Physique, times one. Li Kai put a picture of a chocolate frog in his pocket and couldn't help showing a hint of joy on his face. A picture of an Australian opal eye dragon rewards a little physical fitness, which is a huge surprise for Li Kai. His biggest headache now is his physical condition. As a minor, his body is too fragile. Many of the more dangerous magics were unable to be cast, which made him always feel like his hands were tied. For example, apparition, the most powerful traveling magic in the wizarding world, has certain physical requirements for wizards. Although Li Kai has mastered advanced apparition, he has never tried it because he is worried about damaging his body. Most of the previous rewards were related to magic and spells. This was the first time I received a physical reward. Just by collecting a high quality picture, you get a little physical strength. If you can collect a living dragon, will you get more physical strength? The giant dragons in this world are also carbon-based creatures. Although their physical bodies are very powerful, judging from the evaluation given by the system, they are only 10 times stronger than ordinary adults and 5 times stronger than ordinary adult wizards. This is already a lot. From the comparison of solidity, stability, toughness, etc., assume that the comprehensive evaluation of diamonds is 10 and the comprehensive evaluation of human bones is 5. The evaluation of dragon bones is 10 times that of human bones, which is 50, which is equivalent to 5 times that of diamonds. The overall evaluation of human nails is 3, so the overall evaluation of dragon scales is 30, which is equivalent to 3 times that of diamonds. Other qualities were also proportionally amplified 10 times, and coupled with extraordinary magical abilities, this made the dragon become the overlord of the sky. Cassandra followed Li Kai's example and also used the floating spell to move away the accumulated debris and examine them one by one. It didn't take long for her to gain something as well. There is a painting here, which is a portrait of the deans of the four major colleges. She frowned and said, strange, this is a very commemorative painting. Who would throw it here? 
Li Kai took the portrait in his hand, and soon a system prompt rang in his ears. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the excellent collection, portrait of the four founders, fake, and the reward is, gold galleons, times 100. This is a fake. It should be a fake painting imitated by a certain Mazong student. The real one may be in the castle. Li Kai said regretfully. This fake should be a pretty good imitation, otherwise the system will not give a good rating. But a fake is a fake. If it is a genuine product, the evaluation will be higher, and maybe the system will reward some magic power. Cassandra looked at the oil painting in Li Kai's hand and was not surprised at all by his conclusion. The reason is very simple. The people in this painting cannot move. There is a high probability that it was not made by a wizard. The two of them were busy until about 8 o'clock, and the room of requirement was finally sorted through. There were not many things worth collecting. Most of them are not of good quality, and the rewards given by the system are naturally mediocre. A giant squid chocolate frog drawing that rewards water mastery. A dried mandrake, which rewards weak petrification resistance. A piece of Norwegian spinyback dragon scale, which rewards one point of constitution. A worn magic notebook that rewards a bit of magic. Only these few collection rewards are pretty good. As for the other rewards, they are either gold galleons or daily necessities such as quills or parchment. Overall, the treasure room in the room of requirement is completely worthless for exploration. Of course, this is only temporary. Someone may hide treasures in it in the future, although this possibility is not high. During breakfast on Friday, a group of owls flew into the auditorium and threw various packages at their owners. Lee Kai Sydney also brought a huge package, as did Cassandra's owl Sandy. Who sent me the package? Lee Kai was a little curious. Neither Mr. and Mrs. Granger nor Grandma Ann could have sent the package to Hogwarts. He opened the package, and there was a card at the top. When he opened it, he saw that the sender turned out to be Mrs. Worley. Dear Kyle, how are you doing at Hogwarts? I brought you some snacks. I wonder if you like it. The text on the card is not lengthy, just some short greetings. Underneath the card are various snacks with fancy packaging, all of which are common brands in the wizarding world. There are more than a dozen chocolate frogs alone. As for the others, some of them have been eaten by Lee Kai on the Hogwarts Express, while others have never been seen before. Crab and Goyle, who were diagonally across from them, were almost red-eyed at the sight. These two hungry people had no resistance at all to snacks. Kyle, do you want chocolate frogs? Cassandra's package was almost exactly the same as Lee Kai's. She said with some disgust, these chocolate frogs must have been prepared by my mother for you. She knows that I never eat these. When I wrote her a letter the day before yesterday, I just mentioned that you wanted to collect chocolate frog pictures, and she sent so many, she almost regarded you as her own son. So that's the case. I really have to thank Mrs. Worley for her preference. I praise her from the bottom of my heart. Li Kai grinned and said, Tisk, Cassandra, don't blame me for taking what belongs to you. Motherly love. He unceremoniously put away all the chocolate frogs, then took out a piece of cardboard and wrote a reply to Ms. Worley on the spot. After a while, a thank you letter was written. Although it didn't take much time to write this letter, it actually contained a lot of content. In addition to thanking Mrs. Worley for the gift, Li Kai also asked Mrs. Worley to help visit Grandma Anne when she was free. Grandma Anne is too old and her health is not good. Although the Grangers will definitely not leave her alone, it is always better to have more people taking care of her. In addition, Li Kai also asked Mrs. Worley to help purchase some basic magic materials. He planned to start trying to make magic potions to make money in a while. In the wizarding world, selling magic potions is probably the fastest way to make money. Of course, this requires the support of a superb level of potion making. Li Kai has investigated and found that the most recent sales record of the elixir in the wizarding world was half a year ago, when a small bottle sold for 12,000 gold galleons. After excluding the cost of various potions, the net profit was over 11,500 gold galleons. Spending half a year earning 11,500 gold galleons, doesn't it sound like a lot? However, Fortune Elixir is a high-end potion, and even the most famous potion master cannot guarantee that it can be successfully refined every time. If you fail several times in a row, you will waste a year or two. How many potion masters can afford it? Therefore, 
even a master of potions like Snape would not spend too much time refining the elixir. High-end magic potions such as Blissful Elixir cannot be used by ordinary wizards, and only those magic masters who try to create magic spells, or potion masters who refine high-end magic potions, will use them in order to increase the success rate. In addition to blessing elixirs, there are many more profitable potions. Li Kai plans to start with something low-end. After all, his current potion refining level is only elementary. After writing the thank you letter, Li Kai began to think about how to return the gift. You can't ask for help without giving any benefits. The Woolley family has a great business, and Mrs. Woolley lacks almost everything. She will definitely not like ordinary gifts, so the gifts given to her must be unique. Li Kai glanced at Cassandra and suddenly had a plan in mind. He took out several canvases from his storage bag, waved his wand and began to perform magic. Cassandra's eyes were attracted, and she asked curiously, What are you doing? I'm going to draw a picture of you in school and send it to your mother. I guess she will like this gift. Li Kai said casually. Ah, Cassandra was a little stunned, have you been spying on me? What? Spying on you? Li Kai looked at Cassandra jokingly, Miss, we have been together almost all the time these days except sleeping, bathing and going to the toilet. Do I still need to spy on you? As soon as she said this, Cassandra quickly recalled it and found that it seemed to be the case. Her pretty face turned red with embarrassment. She couldn't help but gritted her teeth and said, Why are you always with me? Is that right? Am I up to no good? Um. Obviously you always love to be by my side, okay. Li Kai stared at Cassandra with wide eyes, but did not expose her. If he told the truth at this time, the girl would be really embarrassed. Ah. Yes, yes, Li Kai said seriously, I am just plotting against you, can't I? Cassandra was so smart that she would not fail to understand what Li Kai was doing. While she was shy in her heart, she also felt a strong sense of warmth, and her eyes couldn't help but soften. But her proud and venomous nature has not changed at all. She raised her chin and stammered, Humph, I, I admit that you have a good vision. However, it is impossible for us. Our identities the gap is too big. The Woolley family will not let me marry an ordinary wizard. Yes, that's it. You, you'd better not be obsessed with it. Sorry, Cassandra. Li Kai saw that Cassandra was getting more and more outrageous, and quickly interrupted, We are only 11-year-old children. It is too far to talk about marriage now. You should help me take a look. Let's make a portrait. You don't want me to paint you ugly, right? Girls are very concerned about their own image. When she heard that Li Kai would paint herself ugly, Cassandra's eyes immediately turned to the painting in his hand. Li Kai uses the most commonly used painting method in the wizarding world, which is the kind of magic that makes the people in the painting move. Although this kind of magic is a living magic, it is very difficult to use and requires the help of legilimency. Fortunately, Li Kai's current magical attainments have already surpassed those of ordinary adult wizards, and he has no problem using any magic. Here, the angle is wrong, adjust it a little. Under Cassandra's command, Li Kai completed one painting after another. I have to say that the paintings adjusted by Cassandra do look much more pleasing to the eye. The distance between the two people was very close, their heads almost touched, but neither of them noticed. Hermione saw this scene as soon as she entered the Great Hall, and felt a little sour for some reason. She threw away her roommates and walked quickly to the Slytherin table. Hi, Kyle, hi, Cassandra. Hermione asked curiously, what are you doing? Mrs. Woolley has sent a lot of snacks. Do you want to try them? Li Kai is about to complete the last painting. I plan to make a photo album of Cassandra and give it to her. Unfortunately, our enrollment period is relatively short, so we can the content of the painting is not much. However, this matter can be regarded as a long-term project, and this gift can be constantly updated. Cassandra couldn't help but glance at Li Kai, feeling very sweet in her heart. She is smart, proud, beautiful, and a little precocious. She has read many romantic fairy tales, and she has imagined in her heart that someone loves her passionately. Hermione praised, what a great idea. Can you make a picture album for me? My parents will definitely like it too. They must have never seen the people in the pictures move on their own. This is much more magical than the TV. Got it. Of course. Li Kai agreed casually. Cassandra was a little unhappy. 
She felt that something that was unique to her was being shared. Thank you, Kyle. Hermione said happily. You are welcome. Lee Kai installed the canvas, took out a piece of parchment, wrote the spell of flying thaumaturgy on it, and then cast a spell on the parchment, and the words on it disappeared immediately. This is a kind of secret magic. After using it, no one else can see the content of the letter except specific people. Li Kai thought that just sending some commemorative paintings was not enough, so he planned to give the flying thaumaturgy spell to Mrs. Worley. Most witches don't like flying on broomsticks, but the experience of flying cannot be replaced by apparating. When chatting before, Mrs. Worley said that she didn't like flying on a broom very much. Li Kai still remembered this, so he thought that flying thaumaturgy would be a good gift. Flying thaumaturgy is a very cool flying magic. The color of the magic mist produced when used can change at will. No wizard can resist this way of flying. After solving the gift problem, class time is almost here. There were only two spells classes on Friday morning. Li Kai took the two girls to the potions classroom and found that the classroom was already full of people. Obviously, Professor Snape's majesty was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people, and no one dared to be late for his class. When class time came, Professor Snape strode in with his robes fluttering like a giant bat. When Harry Potter was called during roll call, Professor Snape paused for a moment and said in a sarcastic tone, This is our new arrival, a famous person. Everyone had a keen sense that something was wrong. Many people on the Slytherin side couldn't help but glance at Harry, with expressions on their faces like they were watching something good. Students who know Snape know that whenever he pays attention to a certain student, that student will most likely be in trouble. As the Slytherin students expected, Professor Snape targeted Harry almost everywhere. Potter. What will I get if I add Narcissus root powder to a mugwort infusion? The sudden question caught Harry off guard. Hermione raised her arms high, but was ignored. Harry felt as if his brain had been eaten by zombies, and he completely lost the ability to think. As for Narcissus root powder, what is it? What is mugwort extract? Can it be eaten? I don't know, Professor, Harry said weakly. Tisk, tisk, it seems that fame doesn't mean everything. Professor Snape said calmly. He then asked a few more questions, but Harry couldn't answer any of them. This level of targeting is simply rare. Lee, tell Mr. Potter. Professor Snape said coldly, our savior needs a role model. I hope you can make him realize the importance of knowledge. This is something more reliable than fame. Li Kai, who was enjoying the melon, did not expect that he would also be implicated. He stood up and said, add Narcissus root powder and mugwort together to prepare a powerful sleeping pill. This sleeping pill is also called the water of life and death. The stone is a kind of stone taken out from the stomach of the goat. It has a strong detoxifying effect. Although Professor Snape deliberately made things difficult, the questions he asked were actually very simple, and Li Kai could easily answer them just by copying the knowledge from the first grade textbook. Potter, because you contradicted the professor, one point will be deducted from Gryffindor. In addition, two points will be added to Slytherin for Mr. Lee's outstanding performance. The progress bar for Gryffindor's evolution into Gryffindor has moved forward one space. In this class, most of the little wizards came into contact with potions for the first time. Neville accidentally made a mistake in the process of making the potion, which resulted in a serious experimental accident. He was soaked in the potion, and his arms and legs were covered with red and swollen boils. He screamed in pain. Snape angrily scolded Neville, and then deducted a Gryffindor point for Harry not reminding Neville. After two spells classes, all the classes in the first week of school were over. Around three o'clock in the afternoon, Harry and Ronald walked along the path towards Hagrid's hut. Lee Kai watched this scene quietly from a certain tower window, realizing that the trio of saviors were about to embark on a real adventure. Kyle, Cassandra suddenly appeared and asked expectantly, do you want to go fishing? Lee Kai smiled. Okay. So, the two came to the edge of the Black Lake to fish again. Lee Kai looked forward to meeting Grindelow, but to his disappointment, the little monsters did not appear until 7 o'clock in the evening. He was secretly thinking about whether he should take the time to go to the Black Lake next time and take the initiative to catch a Grindelow. However, he just thought about it and had no intention of taking action. Because the Black Lake is indeed dangerous. 
In addition to Grindelow and mermaids, there are other dangerous magical animals in this water. Even the professors at Hogwarts may not know all the magical animals. Li Kai is not an arrogant person. Even if he has magic power beyond that of an adult wizard, he does not intend to take the risk of diving into the Black Lake. Because in his opinion, rewards can be obtained slowly, and life safety must be put first. Let's go, it's time for us to have dinner. Cassandra released all the fish in the bucket. Can I not eat grilled fish today? I don't want to get tired of eating a delicious food so early. You've already put the fish away before you come to ask me. Li Kai was helpless, but he didn't blame Cassandra because he had no intention of eating grilled fish today. The two came to the auditorium and heard many young wizards discussing how to spend the weekend. Third-year students can go to Hogsmeade to play, while first- and second-year students can only stay in the castle. Kyle, what are you planning to do on the weekend? Cassandra asked casually. Go to the library and read a book, then practice your spells in the room of requirement. There are actually a lot of fun things in the castle, and some little wizards even brought wizard flags and some card toys from home. But Li Kai is not very interested in those children's toys. He would rather spend more time practicing magic spells. Although you can get system rewards by collecting treasures, the randomness is too great. When he has nothing to do, Li Kai doesn't mind investing his time in improving his strength. Hermione came to the Slytherin table again at some point. She heard Li Kai's words and asked expectantly, Kyle, can I practice spells with you? Cassandra's pretty face sank, and she suddenly felt a little depressed. She was hesitating whether to lower her face and ask Li Kai to teach her the spell, but she didn't expect that Hermione would take the lead. Thanks for watching.